this one's up. So today I'm going to do my favorite jewelry collection. I actually, I don't want to show you my entire collection because it would take forever. But I do want to show you my favorite pieces of jewelry. Now before I start, I do want to tell you that I am very into simple, classic, silver, gold, rose gold jewelry. I have to tell you though that I was very into like gold, not gold, bold. <laughs> Uh, pieces of jewelry when I was younger so I would always get like the craziest things this is not part of what I want to show you but this is just like an example of like stuff that I would actually wear like it was you have no idea crazy necklaces crazy earrings super huge rings which I you know I have them all I haven't thrown them away because I still like them like for example I would wear this because I, I like it. Uh, but still, like the pieces of jewelry that I want to show you guys are the pieces of jewelry that I've been using for a while now. I've been into simple jewelry for the past few years. I don't know why. I just, I feel like it's so beautiful and classic and just timeless. So I'm going to start off with the necklaces. So the first necklace is this one that I'm wearing right now, which is a gold chain with three gold hoops. You know what I did? I wanted to get the triple karma necklace which hopefully I'll get someday but the thing is that I was not sure if I wanted to purchase it because first of all it was kind of expensive and second of all I just wasn't sure like how the hoops would actually look like on my neck. It was like an online website so what I did was I had this gold chain from when I was little. My mom gave it to me and she used to have these rings. So what I did was I just, I took the rings and I put them in the chain and so that is how I got the chain with the three circles. And so far I like it. I love it actually. And uh, the circles from the Triple Karma necklace are smaller which is good and the chain is a little bit thinner and it looks more feminine so which is awesome too. So now I'm thinking that yeah I do want to buy it. Then I have this one which is, it's not actually gold because I got it from Forever 21 but it's just this necklace that has the glasses which when I saw this at the store I just fell in love with it. I was like it's so cute. And this was on sale for like a dollar. So I just thought it'd be cool to like accessorize like a plain tee or just anything, you know, a tank top. Then I have a couple of necklaces that I bought at Carlton Cards. If you guys don't know what that is, it's kind of like Hallmark, like it's a competition. It's another business, but there is exactly the same. It's like a gift shop where they sell like cards and frames and jewelry. So I used to work there and I used to get like 45% off. So I remember I got these two necklaces as soon as they arrived because one of my duties was to like, um, um, I had to pick up the packages and the boxes and everything and open everything and put everything in the store. And so as soon as I opened the jewelry package, the huge box that we always used to get like every two weeks, I fell in love with these. So the first one is just a simple silver chain. It's really cute heart with rhinestones. I'm not sure what these are. I don't think they are Swarovski crystals. I do have to say the necklaces were kind of expensive though, so I'm not sure. I think it's just rhinestones. They're really good quality. The heart is like it's really thick, which I like. And I've worn this necklace a lot. And I even remember I went in I went in the pool with this necklace once and I thought that I completely ruined it, but no. It's perfectly fine. I got this one, which is just a simple skull with the same rhinestones or Swarovski crystals or whatever you guys want to call it but I just I love this one because it's very simple it's not a huge skull when you're far away you can't really see the skull it just looks like a nice pendant so I like this one a lot this one has to be one of my favorites this one is a necklace that I got from DCMA which if you guys don't know what DCMA is it's um if you guys don't know what Good Charlotte is, it's a band and they've been 
like one of my favorite bands for so long now. Benji and Joel, the twins, they have a clothing line. They used to have a clothing line called Made, and then it kind of turned into DZMA. And so I saw the brass knuckles, and I was like, I have to get that necklace. It was $30 and I bought it online. You have to go to dcmacollective.com and I'll, I'll link it down below if you guys are interested because they have amazing clothes like my style. Like my style is like I dress like a tomboy. Like I really do. I dress like a boy. Like I'm always in jeans and t-shirts and my converse and a hoodie. So they have amazing stuff. Kind of like Hot Topic slash like Abby Dawn which is like Avril Lavigne's clothing line. It's kind of like a, like a combination of that. And they have accessories. And so this is one of the famous like necklaces that a lot of people in Hollywood have been like wearing them too. And actually this was like my inspiration for like a tag tattoo that I have on my lower hip, I actually have uh, the exact same thing, brass knuckles. And so then you get, it says DZMA, and I just love this piece. It, it, it's kind of like a statement necklace, but not really, because it's so simple. But still, I feel like the pendant makes it all like super awesome, and just, I like to wear this with a plain tee, and yeah, so DZMA. Then I have obviously my rose gold pendant with white gold chain necklace that my mom got me for my birthday which you guys have seen. It's super thin. This chain is so delicate. I'm so scared that I'm going to break it someday. But it's just the tiniest pendant with three diamonds. I don't know how much it was. All I know is that it was a bit expensive and uh, she got it at Amazon. My last necklace is this one that I got here on campus. I didn't get it at a store. I got it at one of the tables that they used to have. There was this guy selling jewelry for really cheap and so I got this one which is just a silver chain with this pendant which is a gift which I featured this in my jewelry haul video from it was my second video, so it looks, it probably looks like crap, but it's actually, you know, it's a gift, and I just, I like this necklace a lot, so. Oh, you know what? I actually wanted to show you this one, too. You can never go wrong with the pearl necklace. So, I have this pearl necklace that used to be my mom's, and then she gave it to me, too. I'm sure you guys know, know by now that I always get, end up getting, like, my mom's stuff. <laughs> Cause she's always like, oh, do you want it? Do you want it? And I'm like, yes. So it's just a simple pearl necklace. Very sophisticated and classic. Perfect. So then as far as earrings go, I just want to show you a couple of studs that I got at Do It, which is a store in Peru. Very similar to Icing. Very similar to Ardeen here in Canada. It's called Do It. I don't know if you guys have ever been to that store, but these are really pretty studs with rhinestones too. I love them. I love them so much. They look like snowflakes. So I got those ones. Then I love these ones which it's just like a huge pearl with this like detailing around it which is silver too. And these ones go on like that. Just put them on like this. And um, I like them. Then these ones my mom again. These used to be my mom's. And I love them because they're hearts, but they look so like Victorian looking. I love them. They look like they're like from the Renaissance. I love the detail. I don't know if you guys can actually see it. It just it looks so romantic and I just, I love them. These ones are black pearls and I bought them from like my mom's friend and it's just pearls and they're amazing. I love these ones. I always get a lot of compliments when I wear these ones. So that's as far as earrings go. I'm gonna try to make it super quick. I only have two bracelets. I'm not really into bracelets, but I do have a couple that I do use. This one that I got in New York when I went with my mom last year. It's in a little store in Times Square, and I can't remember the name of the store, but it was really cheap, and it's just silver with the gold thingies. So I like to wear this, and then I like to wear these ones which are made in Peru, and when I went there I got this huge bag 
of these ones, which are the rosary or like the saints or like, you know, these bracelets. These ones are saints. So there's like Virgin Mary and Joseph and Jesus and and so I got them in every single color. I have like a huge bag of them. So maybe I'll do a giveaway of a couple of these ones. I don't know if you guys want to win a couple of these bracelets. I'll definitely give them to you guys because I have so many and I don't need that many bracelets like these ones. So yeah. Uh, rings, which is the last thing. It's this one that I got at Ardeen too. And I love it. It's just a plain green stone and it's silver and I love rings like that that are huge and they look nice with every outfit so I have that one. This one which I, they also make in Peru quite a bit. What they do is they put a flower in it. This is plastic but it looks like glass and then they paint like the plastic in different colors. So it looks like that and I love this one. And then the flowers are different colors too. I have a couple of them so I like these ones. Then I have this crazy one that, you know, I love skulls and I got this crazy scary skull in Argentina when I went there for like a school trip and it's just huge. These things don't hurt though. They're not like that spiky. But um, but I like it. It's kind of, I don't know, it's cool. So I bought this one. Then I have this one, which my cousin, airplane. I can't remember if she actually gave me this one for my, oh, it matches my nails. I can't remember if she got it for my birthday, but I bought it from her, I think, or my dad bought it. I don't know, I've had it for a really long time. But it's stuff that they make in Peru also, you know, there's a lot of silver going on in Peru because they export a lot of Peruvian silver. Silver, so this is a silver ring and it has a red stone and it's huge. The ring is super big and the quality of this one is incredible. Like it feels like it's super strong. I can honestly just punch you guys and <laughs> I would never punch you but I can uh, you know it's a very strong ring and that is kind of like if you guys have like strong pieces of jewelry that you cannot break that means that it's gonna last you a really long time it can go through anything so I like this one and lastly my ring that I love it's this one which is a Bulgari ring if you guys can see it, that my dad's girlfriend gave to me, and uh, she gave me the earrings too to match the ring, and I just love this one. I like this one a lot. It's just a plain stone, and it's silver, and it says Walgary, and it looks like that on the side, and yeah, so I love sparkly things, everything that's rhinestones, everything that's like eyeshadow with shimmer, I just glitter I'm crazy about that but anyway so this is my not my jewelry collection video my favorite pieces of jewelry let me know if you guys want to see like a jewelry collection video I'm actually gonna do my favorite purses next so yeah so hopefully you guys liked this one and I'll see you guys in my next video